How's it coming, Michael? All fixed, Mamie. Good. Hello, Mamie. I want a private room. They're all taken. You'll have to watch with the common people. When will there be room in the tub? Soon. The end of the line is outside. <laughs> You're clean enough. Come on, get out. Now. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. I told you. Do you want to hurry, Slade? Yes, I am. Well, now, get come on. <laughs> Get you for this holiday. I said the end of the line was outside. <laughs> I know where the end of the line is. <laughs> Amy, how many times do I have to tell you this is a private bath? Oh, but I've got great news. Well, tell me later. Oh, Samuel, my husband is back. And look, he struck it rich. Mr. Halliday. I'm proud to make your acquaintance, Mr. Halliday. Real proud. Yeah, same here. Mamie told me all about how you helped to get the Emporium started. Laid out all the tubs and water sluices. And I want to tell you how grateful I am. Way out there in the gold fields. Just knowing that someone is looking after my little woman. My pleasure. Now, if you don't mind... And I'm going to show my gratitude. How much did Mamie pay you? Nothing, would you please? Nothing? Well, I told you we worked a trade. Michael gets a free bath a week. Oh, Mamie, you ain't thinking big enough. Here we are, Mr. Michael Halliday. You're a partner. I owe you 10% of the Emporium. Now, wait a minute. Oh, Samuel, that's a fine idea. Mamie, <laughs> restrain yourself. Look, if you don't mind, could we talk this over later? The water's getting cold. Well, take some hot. All you want, partner. And Samuel, I'm going to fix you up a hot bath. Oh, no, 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 Mamie, that can wait, that can wait. Right now, I've got a big itch to wet my whistle and uh, play a little poker. <laughs> See you later, Michael. <laughs> Mr. Good Game, Halliday. Slade took Sam for his whole poke. Sam? Oh, oh, hello, Michael. What's that? What are you playing for? A bath emporium. Sam, you can't play I for... I ran out of money, Michael. But my luck is changing. Look. What is Mamie going to say if you lose? Can we get on with the game? Not with those stakes, you're not. Sam and Mamie gave me 10% of the Emporium this morning, and I don't want any part of this deal. What are you trying to pull? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Hey, somebody got a pencil? Here. I owe you 90% of the Emporium. Fair enough? Fair enough. Sam, you're being a fool. Cards, Mr. Bronson? I'll play these. Dealer takes two. Your bet. Check. No point in my betting. What have you got, Mr. Bronson? <laughs> a flush to the ace. Sorry. I'm full. You cheat. You cheated me! Oh, God. No. You weak young man! Halliday, you better get Sam out of here. Now, I own the Bath Emporium, but I had to draw you as a partner. We might as well understand each other right now. Uh. Oh. Well, 
I ever tell Mamie? All of her hard work, all of her trust and loyalty. Now, here, you'd better put this on while you're thinking about what you're going to say to her. What a fool I am. You can think about that, too. It won't hurt you. I'll get the Emporium back, Michael. Wait and see. You'd best forget about that, Sam. It'd be easier to build a new one. This case is fairly clear. The prisoner, Sam Bronson, had a fight with the deceased. We know the details, Judge. Collie here saw the prisoner running out of the deceased's private bathing room, hollering he was dead. No one else was seen entering or leaving that room. Now then, the modus vivendi and the modus operandi being clearly demonstrated... I don't like to interrupt your speech, Judge, but I don't think it's fair to have Sam sitting here and suffering. Now then, uh... Any of you men think Sam Bronson didn't kill Slade? He didn't do it. I know he didn't do it. You're all agreed then, Sam's guilty? There it is, Judge. As temporary judge of this minor's court, I will now pronounce sentence. Prisoner arise. Sam Bronson, you have been found guilty of murder, and I hereby sentence you to be hanged by the neck tomorrow morning. <laughs> I hereby declare this trial ended. Michael, we can't let him hang. They're building the scaffold now. You know Sam doesn't lie. When he said he found Slade dead in that tub, he did. I believe him, Mamie. There must be some evidence to back up Sam's story. Mamie, what you need is a detective. Now, if there's one thing I don't know anything about... Michael, you could try. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Besides, there's not enough time. Well, maybe I could find the time. What is it, Michael? Well, it's probably nothing, Mamie, but hang on to your hat anyway. Oh, Halliday. I was just looking up a point of territorial law. What can I do for you? Well, Judge, I've been thinking Mamie could use a lawyer. Yes? Well, not for her estate. She needs one to get evidence to clear Sam. Clear Sam? I just sentenced him. Well, I know it might look strange working for Mamie after making her a widow. Might even get you disbarred in the States. In the States it did. But it was all a mistake. No, my boy. I'm afraid it can't be done. Well, you told me once you used to do all your own detective work. That's right, my boy. If I do say so, I was one of the truly gifted investigators in Chicago. But this is ridiculous. I can't go around now trying to clear Sam. But I could if you gave me some idea how to do it. I'm sure that Sam and Mamie would be very grateful, financially. Hmm. Now, what I need to begin with is time. A stay of execution uh, from you. That's impossible. Then, with you doing the thinking, I might be able to save Sam and your fee from an unjust end. My fee? Yeah, your fee. Uh -huh. 
Well, now, in a crime of passion, standard investigation calls for careful examination of modus vivendi and modus operandi. In fact, you might almost have to apply the classic formula. Cherchez la femme. That's French. Versuchen the Frau. That's German. It means the same thing. Look for the woman. Yes. Yes. Now, in this case, the woman is Mamie. Oh, yeah. Now, the next possible motive is money. That leads us right back to Sam. Say, did you look through the deceased's effects? You mean that I looked through his room? Yes. No. But uh, I'd get right to it if you give me that stay of execution. Oh, uh, uh, that's the spirit, boy. Off you go. Well, what about the stay? You get the evidence first, and then I'll think about it. Okay, Jeff. Congratulations. This is a surprising piece of luck. I'll say it missed me by a full half inch. No, no, no. That is hardly the point. Be objective, my boy. Now, the fact that this knife was thrown at all shows interest on the part of a third party. Ooh, I might even say a keen interest, if you'll forgive a feeble joke. I'll try to be objective. You might even be right about your friend's innocence. Carry on, my boy. Your investigation is disturbing to someone. You've noticed that, too. Now, I'm wondering who else knew I was in Slade's room at that time. That's the attitude, my boy. Now you're getting onto it. Don't trust anyone. Be objective. Now, you find out who threw this knife. This is a real clue. Exploit it, my boy. Exploit it. If I were you, I'd go right back there and look through Slade's clothes again. You don't think that this warrants a stay of execution? Eh, uh, hardly. After all, I only have your word for it that the knife was thrown. Uh, don't trust anyone. I'm getting on to it. I'll be right back, Jack. You know, in a way, I'm going to miss Slade around here. Should have thought of that sooner. Yeah, I mean, it was a pleasure to watch him work. I'd like to see a poker game run efficiently. Well, here comes Mamie's boy. Oh, hello, Halliday. Looking for another poker game? No, oh, thanks, Riker. Not the way you run them in here. All my dealers run their own games their own way. That's how I operate. I'd like to believe that. I really would. It doesn't matter what you believe. You can believe whatever you want. Something I can do for you, Halliday? You might satisfy my curiosity. Yeah? Well, I was wondering who my new uh, partner might be in the bathroom party. You mean uh, now that Slade's gone? Yeah. How should I know? Well, did he have family? Anybody that might inherit from him? Nobody I ever heard of. Did he have any partners? Any partners besides you, I mean? Oh, no. Slade had no partners. Not even me. He worked here, around a table. That's all. Well, right, guess somebody has got that IOU for 90% of the Bath Emporium. The uh, last time I saw it, uh, Slade was putting it in his pocket. 
Do you know who owns this? Looks like any ordinary hunting knife. Yeah. Where'd you find it? I almost found it in my bag. Leave it there. Somebody may claim it. Here's something to remember if you ever have to lay out a departed, Mr. Halliday. It's easier to make a neat bow vertically than horizontally. The uh, ribbon falls free, you see? I'll try to remember that. It's funny how people never remember to send along a tie. Is this what he was wearing? He wasn't wearing anything. They sent him to me right out of the tub. This can't be Slade's suit. These pants are too short. Where did these clothes come from? They sent them over from the Monte Carlo Saloon about an hour ago. Thanks. Oh, that's a nice young fella. So interested. Well, to work. Michael, I'm glad to see you. Have you been able to find out anything? Well, nothing definite yet, Mamie. Sam's scaffold is almost completed. I know. Poor Sam, he's being so brave. Well, I'm not giving up yet, Mamie, but this detective work is like looking for gold. First, you have to dig up a lot of dirt, and then you have to pan it out to see what you actually got. But we only have till morning. Well, I may be able to persuade the judge to postpone it. Him. He's in the back now, checking himself another bath. Have you been here all day? Yes, but I gotta leave pretty soon to bring Sam's supper. Did anybody show up to claim the Emporium? Not yet. Well, one other thing. Whatever happened to Slade's clothes after he was killed? Clothes? Oh, I don't know. You haven't seen him around here? No. Well, stick with it. I'm not quitting yet. Oh, here you are, Judge. Listen about that uh, stay of execution. I got new evidence. Good boy! Somebody made off with Slade's clothes in a saloon, sent over a new suit to bury him in. Well, that's suspicious, but hardly conclusive, Michael. Well, wouldn't you say it was worth a day? How important are clothes, Michael? Well, in the legal context. your clothes? They are. Keep your hands off of them. Why come you didn't hang them up? Oh, no room. You mean all the hooks were taken? Yeah, that's right. Anybody on these? outside and have him run over the Monte Carlo saloon and have him tell Riker and Collie that Judge Bickle has granted a stay of execution for Sam. What? And, 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 and have the man say that the judge is here in the bathhouse. We might have a little bit of excitement here. Oh. I got it, Judge. I got the evidence. Good boy. We're going to have a new trial right here and now. What? Where? In the bathhouse. Oh, wait a minute, Michael. Not like this. Let me get dressed. Well, I'm sorry, Judge, but I've got to make a point about the importance of clothes. Hurry up. Wrap that around. What's this about a stay of execution? Stay? What stay? Did you grant a stay of execution? He will any minute now. Uh, shall we go see the new evidence? Okay, boys, we're going to have another trial for Sam Bronson. I won't hold still for this holiday. It won't take long, Riker. The judge is right here, and you boys are going to be the jury. Now, Carly, you testified at Bronson's trial that you talked to Slade in the tub while he was still well and alive. Now, is that right? That's right. Well, that's all. You all heard him say that? Now, maybe go over there and get that second coat in the right, please. 
Would you bring it right over here and hold it up in front of everybody? Suede's coat, folks. You've all seen him wear it often enough. Carly, wasn't it strange that you talked to Slade in the tub when he was already dead? He wasn't dead. Well, he must have been because he was stabbed in the back when he was still wearing that coat. What'd you lie for, Carly? Did you kill him? Why don't you ask Riker? After I leave. Don't you put it off on me. You set it up, you get out of it. Would you call what you just saw evidence? The very best kind, my boy. Congratulations. And I may even find. Sam's I owe you for the 90% of the bathroom court. Perfect, my boy. Great detective work. Would you call this here cold deck? <laughs> Colder than I am. Would you say that Slade wasn't entitled to the bath emporium? I mean, after using a deck like that. I would. Okay. Amy, you better get out of here so the jury can get dressed. Oh, thanks, Michael. I'm going to go exchange Riker and Tolly there for Sam. Pick up your friend and let's get going. Restrain yourself. Oh, Michael, you're an angel. I don't know how to thank you. I do. Give him 20% of the bathhouse. Oh, no thanks. You are a very apt pupil in the field of criminal detection. Have you ever thought of making this your life work? Should you feel like I just did? <laughs> Mamie, do I still get that free bath? Anytime, Michael. Brought to you by Salem Cigarettes. Men